Hey guys, it's Jake. I'm, today I'm going to show you how I make my coyote, beaver, snares. You need for coon too. If you have bobcat where you live, you need for bobcat. I don't have bobcat much around here. You might see one every couple of years, but other than that, there's no bobcat. First, what you want to do is you want to take a cable. I think this is 2 sixteenths. I don't, I have no idea. 2 or 3 sixteenths. And uh, you want to take, I don't worry, worry about buying the machine stamped out uh, ferrules or stoppers or whatever they're called. I just go to the hardware store pick up some nuts that fit snugly on the end of this cable they're just kinda they're not snug but they fit right about there buy some of them and I just take it slip it on there so it's about a quarter inch cable sticking out go out there to my brick of steel I got I just take my little hammer little sludge hammer and I just smack that down so it just crimps it on there you can see that alright then next step of doing this is you want to take one of your lockers right here I want to slide that on oops come on get on there there we go slide that down to the end then you don't have to do this it's not a legal obligation in my state but uh I like to it's just a good thing to do it's responsible and uh it'll make your life easier it's a good way to put it it's called deer stops you get a smaller nut it's smaller around, not necessarily smaller inside diameter. Stick it on there. You'll see what that's for a little later. That's a deer stop. Some of you know what they are, some of you don't. So after you got that on there, then you want to go back through this stopper here, or this locker. So right now, it'll look like almost a completed snare. There's your deer stop. So I like to go about... Oh, two and a half or three inches. So you close this to about two and a half or three inches, which would be right about right about there. It would be, and you know nothing has a neck that small. So, so yeah, take that off, and I go out there with my hammer, and I just smash that on there, so it sits right there. And the idea is, the deer steps in there. His bit, his leg is gonna be bigger or smaller than that, so you can just pull his leg right out and you don't catch a deer. Sure, your snare's fouled up after that, but hey, it's better than catching a deer. So, all right, so your snare part's initially done. Now all you have to do is go out there, go and clamp this on. If you have a crimper, then use that. This is best. Then take, I don't know what these things are, but they were on the original snares I bought. I just keep taking the parts off the old snares and putting them back on the new ones I make. I don't know, maybe they're called aluminum ferrules or something like that. They look like that. Two little holes, see it? Yeah. Slip that on. Like that. Pull it down a little ways. And take your cable and push it back through. So it looks like that. Okay? And then take yourself another nut. Yeah, that one's the wrong diameter. Right there. Get yourself another nut. Ow, son of a bitch, that hurt. I just cut myself. Yeah, you should wear gloves doing this too, if you have rough end ca cable like I do, but, you know, teach his own. So, put on there, smash it down, that'll hold there. Then you got a little slip noose here you can tie off to a tree or whatever, you know, face it. That's how I do mine. Mine is just smashing it down. So, uh, hope that helps, you know. I'm going to have some spring beaver trapping videos to put out here in the next month. I'm going to try and get a lot of that. Uh, that's it. just figured I'd show you that. I haven't put out a video for a week or two now. So I wanted to show you guys that. Thanks for watching.